Hello everyone! I have some more news for you today. Yesterday, Skibidi Multiverse 13 bloopers was released on Dom Studio Channel, as well as a new leak from Episode 14. And there are some interesting details. Why is this speaker man a traitor? And what do we have in store for us in the 14th episode? Today I'm gonna answer these questions. Get your tea and snacks ready and let's go. Let's start with bloopers. First of all, I want to say that this man is also a reference to the original series. We've already seen him in the 27th episode. Here he is. So, as we remember, the 13th episode ended with this dude being too curious and taking what he didn't need to take. And for that, he paid with his speaker, and in this short video, we find out what exactly was in this folder. First of all, this folder is a collection of memes for all kinds of situations. It also has pictures of the speaker woman, but forget it. You weren't supposed to know that, actually. And look what the dirty bastard does. He takes her photo and hides it in his pocket. You have no excuse, and I would personally deal with you if I cared about the speaker woman, my G. But I'm still gonna take that picture from you. And finally, he shows us something else, and it's a spoiler for the original series, Skibidi Toilets. And in my analysis of episode 13, I was right about this speaker man. He wanted to reveal you both Skibidi Toilets and Skibidi Toilets Multiverse. These documents contain hard spoilers about what's going to happen in the future. This is what makes him a traitor, and there is no excuse for him. Because if he showed you everything, the new episodes wouldn't be as interesting. I assure you that we are definitely not traitors, but we can act in some of our own interests. And I have a theory about that, but that's a topic for another video. Now let's get to the first leak of episode 14. In the 13th episode, we saw a Skibidi lab where they supposedly made Skibidi mutants. Which means that the toilets have been capturing Alliance agents quite often to experiment on them. And the Alliance has only once captured a Skibidi to find out the location of their base. Now let's take a look at this picture. Here we see Alliance soldiers surrounding a helicopter toilet, and damn look at this face! He's obviously not too happy with what's going on right now, he's like, I'd rather stay home and watch the new isotoilet analysis. Yeah, he is absolutely right. You can see here how the agents took off his rocket launchers, only it doesn't make a lot of sense because they don't have charges in them anymore, which means he's even more useless than usual. They also gave him a cool black eye, by the way. There's also two cameramen with no ties. I think they're regular Alliance soldiers, and they're just helping this dude out. They have the exact same sign as on the camera mobiles from episode 12. Now let's move on to Drillman. He already came to us in Episode 9 and shot the Skibidi with his nail gun. In the analysis of the previous episode, I saw some nails on one of the toilets, the exact same ones this yellow guy is shooting, and I assumed he might be somewhere nearby. It looks like that turned out to be true, and he was able to capture one test subject in this battle. Only this guy doesn't have a single nail on him. I don't even know how they managed to capture him. In general, I think the Alliance finally figured out to act like the Skibidi and started capturing enemies instead of just flushing them out. Maybe in the next episodes we'll be shown how the agents started doing their experiments to turn toilets into their soldiers. We have already seen about such things in the 16th episode, but as for me, this is not the most successful version. We could do better. I hope it will be done in the future, and we will be shown new hybrids that fight on the Alliance side. It is also quite possible that this toilet was captured in order to find out the location of other Skibidi labs, because in the previous episode we saw only one of them. And there are at least three more. I'd be interested to know what experiments are being done at the other bases. What do you think the agents captured that baldy helicopter for? I think the next episode will show us a continuation of the airport battle, in which the Alliance will probably win, and maybe rebuild the fourth lab like their own base. Yeah, we won't know what else was in those secret documents, but you don't need to know that, I'm sure you. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!